It's definitely a concern for everyone in our generation, you know, growing up not knowing what's going to happen with climate change, so it's definitely an important topic. I think Coddling Wind Park will bring a huge amount of opportunities for Wicklow and it will be a great benefit to have in the town. I'm Ellen and I'm the goalkeeper here at St Pat's GA Club and Wicklow. <laughs> Coddling Wind Park has provided us with sponsorship which has given us footballs for our training and matches. The Community Benefit Fund could create great opportunities for clubs like St Patrick's GA Club. There are a lot of benefits for the community coming out of the Codling Wind Park project. One of the big benefits from this project will be the very significant multi-million euro community benefit fund. The Community Benefit Fund will provide funding for a range of projects that will come from the community themselves and it will be independently administered and it will provide an incredible positive legacy for the community. Donald Flynn is my name. I'm from Greystones and um, I'm part of it. It's a recently formed community group called Sustainable Greystones. We're committed to building a, a brighter and more sustainable future for the community here. So there's a lot of growth that has happened in this area over the last 20 years and it's accelerated in the last five years. There's so many different areas that money could be spent beneficially for the community across a whole range of areas. I'm really happy to see Codlick Wind Park coming to the local area. I think the benefits over the next whatever number, 20, 30, 40 years are going to be great for our local economy. So my name is Mark Corcoran. I own and run ASL Safety and Training. We look forward to continuing to provide safety consultancy, survey and training services to the project as it develops. Hi, my name is Stephen Delaney. I'm the owner of the shoebox behind us here and I'm also the president of Wicklow District Chamber of Commerce. The benefits of having a wind park and the multi-million euro investment cannot be underestimated. It's going to be huge, it's going to have a huge impact on employment during the construction phase, both locally and nationally. People know that the benefit this is going to bring to the area is huge. It's equivalent to when electricity came to rural Ireland. That's how much of an impact the renewable energy sector is going to have on Ireland and on our families and on our children.